The Asheville Police Department spent nearly $2.5 million in overtime over the past two years. It's the price of business and a severely understaffed department, according to Chief David Zack. News 13 Samir Nefsi sat down with him to discuss how he's trying to patrol the city. Samir? Yeah, that's right. Since 2020, APD spent just over $2.4 million in overtime. It's something Chief David Zack agrees is concerning, but says it's the result of ensuring the city is safe. We need the officers on the street, and right now the only way to get them in is on overtime. In a sit-down interview with News 13, Chief Zach says the issue boils down to a lack of staffing. It's a lot of money. It's costing a lot of, lot of taxpayer money. We're still only filling about 50% of our overtime requests, and you know we're still short on the street every single day. The department currently has 183 sworn officers of the 238 positions allotted with 55 positions available. We really saw this towards the, the, the middle and end of uh, 2020 is when we started to see you know the mass exodus of officers, but it's been pretty steady. It's also a national problem. According to a study conducted by the Police Executive Research Forum, Officer resignations increased by more than 40% in 2020 to 2021 following the national outrage from George Floyd's death, with retirements also increasing by nearly 24% in 2021 compared to 2019. There's a number of factors. Obviously, the constant beatdown that this profession has received over the last two years and continues. Mm -hmm. Who wants to... Who wants to deal with that? Zach hopes the 2023 police budget of nearly $31 million will go towards hiring new officers. My biggest concern right now is burning out our personnel. And uh, that's a huge concern. They, they can only go so long. So, you know, that's why, you know, we're being very aggressive in trying to recruit. Help could be on the horizon as the city drops $225,000 on a contract with Epic Recruiting. But I do think that the support will come and people will take a second look at this profession and say, hey, I want to make a difference in my community. Chief Zach says they are looking at other departments, similar sized cities to compare salaries and benefits other areas are offering to recruit officers. In studio, Samir Nafsi. News 13.